Assembling the quad lock system requires the following basic tools. Utility knife with an extendable blade, tape measure, spirit level, string line and chalk line, keyhole saw, wire twister, hammer, screw gun, pruning shears, ladder and scaffolding, gloves and safety goggles. To ensure the easiest and most efficient installation of your quad lock walls, pay close attention to the footings. Standard footing width of 16 inches can be used for walls 8 inches nominal concrete and less. Walls greater than 8 inches should be matched to footings specified by the project engineer. They should be poured level to within a tolerance of a quarter of an inch, wherever possible, and the edges troweled smooth for proper placement of the metal track. If there are steps in the footings, set the elevation in even 12 inch increments to match the quad lock panel profile. The window and door box should be pre-built either on or off site using treated lumber or plastic extrusions once you know the size of the rough openings. Set the header on top of the sides so that it bears on the sides. All window bucks need large gaps along the sill to allow concrete placement and to ensure consolidation underneath. You can do this by using 2x4s on edge and leaving a space between them or by drilling holes 3 or 4 inches in diameter. Openings like doors that sit on the footing or slab must be installed first. Drive galvanized nails or screws into the back side of the buck to provide shear value. Locate and clearly mark all window openings for later installation of prefabricated buckouts. For maximum energy and material efficiency, use panel offcuts and metal window brackets to form door and window openings. This method reduces wood consumption and the potential for thermal transmission through wood members used in forming buckouts. Locate the outside building line and strike the line. The building line is the outside of the foam. Remember to account for the two and a quarter inches of foam on the outside of the wall. The outside track should be installed first using the building line struck on the footing. The metal track is then secured to the footing every two and a half feet and at the ends of the track. After the outside track has been placed, use wood spacers to place the inside track. Cut the spacers to match the wall cavity size. Refer to the chart on the outside of the tie box for interior cavity and outside wall dimension. To avoid potential problems, the job supervisor should carefully check the attachment of metal track to the footing before walls are built.